sensory organs. How do you see? Rays of light pass through the pupil in your eye, which is like a small hole. Behind each pupil is a lens which bends light so that it shines on an area at the back of your eye called the retina. This makes an upside down picture on the retina of what you are seeing. The optic nerves in your eyes send this information to your brain which lets you see it the right way up. Why do your pupils change size? Your pupil is the black circle in the middle of the colored part of your eye. It is actually a hole in your eye that lets light in. Your eyes work just like a camera. When it is bright, your eyes do not need to let so much light in for you to see. So the muscles of the iris, the colored part of your eye, contract making the pupil hole smaller. In dim light the iris expands to make the pupil as large as possible to allow all the available light to enter your eye. Why do you have tears? Your eyes constantly make tears which stops your eyes from drying out. Tears contain proteins that kill germs helping prevent infections in your eyes. You blink about 15 times every minute, spreading the tears across your eyes. Extra tear fluid drains through a small tube into your nose, which is why your nose also runs when your eyes water or you are crying. Why are people's eyes of different colors? The color of your eyes depends on the amount of pigment that is in the iris. Brown eyes have a lot of pigment while blue eyes have a little. You inherited your eye color from your parents. The most common eye color is brown. If one of your parents has brown eyes and the other has blue eyes, your eyes will most likely be brown. What is color blindness? A person who is color blind cannot tell the difference between certain colors, most often red and green. This is a condition which is inherited and about 10% of males have it. It is very rare in females. Do carrots help you see in the dark? Carrots are rich in vitamin A, which is necessary for seeing in dim light. If your body doesn't get enough vitamin A, you will be less able to see in the dark. But carrots aren't the only food that is high in vitamin A. Other foods such as mangoes, milk, spinach and egg yolks will also help you see in the dark. The story that carrots help you to see in the dark originated during World War II as an explanation for how the British night fighter pilots were able to see German planes in the dark. Of course, the real reason was that the British had radar which was a top secret at that time. Do we have tears in our eyes only when we cry? A lot of tears flow from our eyes when we cry. These are visible to us. However, some tears are always present in the eyes which help wash away the dust and keep our eyes healthy. Why do some people need glasses? As light enters our eyes, it passes through a lens. This lens bends the rays of light to focus them at the back of the eye. But in some people, the lens cannot bend the light rays properly. They see a fuzzy image. 
glasses help them to see clearly by focusing the light rays at the back of the eye. Why do animals eyes shine in the dark? This is because their eyes reflect light back. So if you shine a light on them, the reflection can be seen in the dark. A man called Edwin Shaw from England noticed this and made cat's eyes from glass which were set in rubber and placed in the middle of roads helping drivers stay on the road in the dark. How do you smell? Smells consist of small particles called odorants. These enter your nose and are detected by special hairs called cilia on your olfactory cells. These scent particles dissolve in mucus in the nose and nerve signals are sent via the hairs to your brain which recognizes the smell. What is your tongue used for? Your tongue performs many functions. By providing a large surface area in your mouth, it allows your food to react easily with your taste buds. Because it is moist, it allows food to dissolve onto the surface of the tongue to aid digestion. The tongue also helps transport this food to the back of the throat for swallowing. Importantly for humans, your tongue is vital for forming words. Without it, we could not speak. Finally, doctors like to look at your tongue as it is a good indicator of your general health. What are taste buds? If you look closely at your tongue, you will see it is covered in hundreds of tiny little bumps. These bumps contain your taste buds and there are thousands of them. Your taste buds are chemical receptors that sense the different chemicals in your food and send signals to your brain. Some taste buds react to sugar, so the more sugar a food contains, a stronger sweet signal is sent to your brain. How many smells can humans detect? If your nose is working at its best, you can detect between a massive 4,000 to 10,000 smells. As you get older, your sense of smell deteriorates, so you can probably smell better than your parents or grandparents. Animals can smell a lot better than humans. A dog's sense of smell is at more than 1,000 times better than humans and a male emperor moth can smell a female mate seven miles away. Why can't you taste properly when you have a cold? Your sense of smell is a lot stronger than your sense of taste. When you taste food, you rely on its smell and texture as well. So when you have a cold and your nose is blocked, your sense of smell is reduced, making you unable to taste your food as when you are normal. What makes your mouth water? Saliva is the fluid made by glands in your mouth. It mixes with food and together with your teeth, mashes the food up and makes it easy to swallow. When you smell something you know to be delicious, your brain recognizes smell and sends signals to your mouth to make more saliva. How much saliva do you produce in your lifetime? You will produce about 26,300 liters of saliva in your lifetime, enough to fill two standard size swimming pools. Why does our nose run? Inside our nose there is a moist lining. 
when we catch a cold, the lining makes more moisture to try and wash the germs out, making our nose run.